Hello, today we're going to look at how the IV Paint asset works in UE4 using Houdini Engine. Let's find the IV Paint asset and load it into the Unreal Editor. You can download it from the video link. To start, I'm going to drag and drop the asset into the scene, and then cut to the cooked asset. So here's the IV Paint asset loaded in the scene, which appears as a simple geometry. Seeing this verifies that the asset has been loaded correctly and is working. Let's turn off Preview Mode and enable Test Mode. Preview Mode bypasses everything and shows no IV at all. Now in the Test Mode, we are seeing a fraction of our vines displayed. This is simply the default display mode. You're free to change the look of it as you like. So we're just waiting for the asset to finish cooking. Okay, it's done cooking. Let's go into the Infinity Blade Grasslands folder. We're going to grab something to put the vines on top of. There's a ton of assets released for free which we can use in Unreal Engine. So in Environments, Planes, Static Mesh. We're going to use one of these statues, drag and drop them into the scene. Let's just reset them to the default location first. I'm just going to move him over to the side, want to quickly show something with him. Let's click on the IV Paint asset and we're going to drag and drop a second statue in the scene. Put him into the Divide Mesh field. The Divide Mesh does exactly as the title states. It subdivides the mesh. If we change to Wireframe Display, you can see that the divided mesh is more dense. Higher density means that we have more surface information to work with, which means more geometry detail to paint on. Let's go back to Lit View and delete the first statue. We don't need him anymore. So this subdivided mesh that's been cooked with Houdini Engine is what we're going to paint on. I can click on Paint, and let's select a color. That color will indicate where the ivy will be. We'll put some ivy along the staff, his arm, shoulder. Let's tumble around, maybe paint some ivy across his back, some ivy on the head. You can use any paint color you like as a visual indicator of the placement of ivy. And if we change our mind, we can just erase the areas where we don't want ivy on. Oops. Let's click on the white color for erase, seems we need to refresh that. There we go. Okay, we are done with painting. Now we have to copy the instance vertex colors information from the mesh. This is how we'll extract the paint information of where the ivy will be positioned. With the ivy paint asset selected, scroll down to Static Mesh 6, where you see the statue. Click on Bake. We're going to cook the paint info of the statue mesh via Houdini Engine. And we're going to locate that baked out file. Go out of the Infinity Blade Grasslands folder and into the Starter Content folder. We'll take that file and drag it into the Houdini Inputs Painted Geo field. Now Houdini will take the baked out paint information and turn that into ivy vines and leaves. We still have the test mode on, so we're only seeing a fraction of the ivy. Alright, here's our statue ivy. Looks funky because we need to tweak some display options. Just going to pop the statue back in to see the ivy wrapped around it. And again, reset the statue location values. Go back to place mode. And yeah, the ivy is looking kind of sparse. Let's go back into the ivy paint asset and give it some more detail. Let's increase the remesh detail to 0.05. Smaller value means more detail. We'll let it cook to update the change. Increase the amount for endpoints per square meter as well, to 50. And there it is. You can see the vines going all the way around, on the hands, the head, basically where we painted. Let's continue tweaking the vines. We'll add some more leaves to it, change the color of the vines, and change the thickness. So you can see that the vines just got a little bit thicker. We're going to increase the minimum width as well. We have thicker vines. Okay, now let's put some more leaves on the vines. The default leaves density is 1, because when you're starting out, you don't want to have so many leaves to begin with. Let's set it to 15.
And there's our leaves. Let's have a look. Looking more viney now. Next, we're going to change the color of the vines. Let's make it more brown. Okay, let's turn the leaves off and have a look at the vines color. And you can see that the vines are more brown. We can make it more reddish. So now it's going from brown at the root to red. The thinner the vines get, the redder it gets. Right, so let's put the leaves back on. That looks kind of weird, so we're going to put it back to brown. One more thing I want to point out is the connect pieces option. Connect pieces is where you have loose or floating painted objects, so if you have two painted pieces and you want to connect them, you can do so with this option. Let's uncheck this and see what we get. Let Houdini Engine do the cooking. Meantime, there's a max search points, which will specify how many points will connect, and search radius parameters, so you can tweak that till things are connected. The look of the vines did change a little bit, but given that everything is already connected, we're not going to see anything dramatic. So this is the Abbey Paint asset with Houdini Engine in Unreal Engine. Thanks for watching.